Hello everybody and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and welcome back to another Taskmaster Challenge. That's right boys, the Taskmasters are back. So, let's get right into it. As always, my competitors are Stealth17 Gaming, Brother Monroe, and the Serious Strategy Gamer. Now, I don't think Serious Strategy is going to make it for this week, but he is going to try to join us for future weeks, um, given that we continue this. But uh, first week of the challenge is going to be a doozy, folks. We get 1890 tech. We get a battleship versus a 1940 tech light cruiser. Uh, we get to choose the country for both. And uh, the points will be as follows. One point for sinking the cruiser. One point for not taking a torpedo. One point for having the cheapest battleship. And a tiebreaker is the fastest to sink the cruiser. So the very first thing that I noticed is that there are two points up for grabs that do not require us to sink the cruiser. And I honestly believe that sinking the cruiser is going to be impossible. I don't think that anybody is going to be able to sink this cruiser, and I'll tell you why. You're not going to be able to hit him. He's going to be extremely fast because 1940 tech, so he's going to have good hauls. He's going to have good propulsion. He's going to be at least 30 knots top speed. You're not going to be able to build any battleship anywhere near that and have any sort of protection. You can also pretty much guarantee that the uh, the AI is going to bring at least 7-inch guns, which is the maximum that they're going to have, and they're going to have all the torpedoes. So the goal here for me is to build the cheapest battleship possible and not take a torpedo. It doesn't matter that I die. But if we build the cheapest battleship possible and we don't take a torpedo, then I think we honestly are going to end up getting two points. And I think that wins us the the, the season or wins us this, this week. Um, that's what I'm banking on. That's, the, that's the, the strategy here. Now, unfortunately, I would love to go out and beat this thing, but I just don't think it's possible. I, I really think that the tech difference is just too much. I don't think we're going to be able to land a significant enough hit to do anything useful against a, a light cruiser. He's going to have lots of guns. He's going to have lots of torpedoes. You're not going to get close enough to actually hit him because even at 8,000 meters, like your accuracy for this is going to be awful. So uh, let's get right into designing, shall we? And so with the, the fact that we're going for the cheapest ship possible, we're going to go with the smallest little tiny toy battleship you've ever seen in your life. This thing is literally like a bath toy. Okay, so we are, we are going to go full ham on the cheapest possible design. Uh, we're going to go with the slowest. We're going to drop this. We're going to drop this. We're going to have zero, zero. We're not going to change anything here. All of this is going to be the same. Uh, we're going to drop our armor down all the way. We are going whole ham on being the cheapest design possible. Okay? So we are going to meet the very minimum design requirements. So, front tower, rear tower. Interesting. We can't actually put this on. Okay, so this goes up by 30k. How big of a freaking increase here do we have to have for the rear tower to fit? Let's just go with that and then drop that. All right. So we're good there. If if going for the second tower ends up costing me in this challenge, I'm not going to be happy. I'm not going to lie. Because I'm putting all of my eggs in the basket of getting two points for not taking a torpedo and not uh, not ha or having the cheapest ship. So... I'm really, really hopeful here. Like, this is a tiny battleship. This is 9,576 tons. So, is there another country that's going to have a smaller battleship that's a little bit cheaper? No idea. I 
I mean, I guess that'd be something we need to check. Like, this is 9,576 tons. Um, let's change our country and see what we can do. So if we design ship now, what is the minimum we could do here? If we get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. That's 8,705 tons. So that's technically smaller. So we'll keep that in mind. Okay. Design. What do we got? Uh, displacement all the way down. Beam. Draw. We're looking at 8,705 tons. Okay. Design. Sixty nine hundred and sixty four tons. Okay. That's bigger. So right now the Austro Hungarians are winning it. Sixty-seven forty-seven for the Chinese. Eighty-seven hundred for the British. Seven thousand. So Austro-Hungarian appears to be the way to go. Yeah, I think that's going to be our our shot here. So the Austro-Hungarians, it is. Let's drop this all the way down. Drop, 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 drop. All the sliders go down. That gives us 69.64. feel like that was higher than the... Was it the Spanish? Or was it the Italians? Or no, the Chinese. Yeah, definitely the Chinese. 67.94 is what we have to beat. 67.94. Sixty-seven forty-seven. All right, so the Chinese are the, the lowest possible, I think. So that's where we're going to go. We're going to have all of the worst techs possible. We're not changing anything there. Um, we're going to be dropping our armors all the way, essentially. As much as we can, anyway. And again, the goal isn't to survive. We can get two points without surviving. The goal is to just not take a torpedo and to build the cheapest possible ship and so that's what we're going to do front tower oh god we can't actually use this okay oh god that's a significant change i feel like we can go a little bit wider so if we take our beam Okay, now can we put this? Yeah, we can. Okay, secondary tower. There we go. Now let's take the beam and make it smaller. Okay, 7%. 7 7.2%. It looks like our, our minimum. All right, for funnels, we're going to go with just the standard funnel. Um, main gun, we're going to have... Looks like 9 inches are tiniest, so we'll just throw a 9-inch gun there. 
Uh, we're not going to have any secondaries, torpedoes, or anything like that, because that all costs money. Uh, we're not going to change anything here. We're going to go with, uh, you know, light shells. We're going to go with reduced ammo. And is there one of these that actually gives us, like, if we look, cost is 1.216... doesn't seem to change our uh... okay okay that actually does change so maximum he looks to be yeah the cheapest okay so we're good there let's uh, remove the armor here We don't have any casemates, so we don't have that. Uh, we do need a second main gun, so we'll throw that back in there. Uh, I'm not worried about anything else. Like, this should be the cheapest possible ship that you can create. Is there anything that I'm overlooking? Don't think so. Don't think there's anything. Is What is base fuse cheaper? It's 113. Yeah, so base fuse is actually cheaper, so we'll go with that. Again, I am literally, like, grasping it at strings here. We have nothing. And we can't go any smaller here. If we get beat because somebody's able to get a freaking, uh, the tower on the front with a smaller beam, I'm going to be slightly upset. I feel like that's the only place that we've actually kind of screwed ourselves. Can we go? Yeah, we literally cannot make this any narrower. All right, so I think that's what we're going into the battle with. And again, the goal, to have the cheapest ship possible and not take a torpedo. If we die, we die, which we are going to die. Let's be real. We are going to die. We have no protection. Is there anything that I'm overlooking? Please. Anything. We've got all the armor stripped that we can strip. We have not added anything here that's going to cost us more. We have nothing here that's going to cost us more. Is there anything here? That, there's no, literally nothing that we can do that's going to co like get us cheaper. That's two th 260. Yeah, versus... 232.67. That's actually cheaper. We go with a balanced rudder that's actually cheaper. All right. And yeah, there's nothing going to be cheaper than this. There's nothing else that I can do here. Alright, well. We will call this... The Bat Toy. Because that's basically all it's good for. Any men on this board on board this ship is going to be absolutely crushed. They are they're done. Like these guys are on a suicide mission that they are not going to be able to complete. If they pull this off, I'm going to be like surprised. Cuz we only have two guns. They're not going to be able to carry that much ammo for them either. Yeah, 84 per gun. So we got like 160 rounds. All right, boys. Here we go. Our final cost is $1,232,967. This ship only takes 12 months to build. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna give her heck. Let's see how long it takes us to die. <laughs> we are going to die. Make no mistake. And honestly, I want to die as quickly as possible. So I might just try to go broadside and let him kill me. 
so that we don't end up taking it. Yeah, look at the size difference. Look at the bath toy versus this freaking light cruiser. This is a light cruiser. All right. So let's see what you got. He's already launched torps. We just heard that. He's got seven inch guns. He's not actually shooting at us yet. Let's go ahead and speed up time. Okay, we've already been hit. He overpinned us with 7-inch guns. We ricocheted. Interesting. There's torpedoes. Well away from us. Surprisingly, he's struggling to hit us. I honestly thought he would have came in and just annihilated us. Maybe this isn't completely uh, crazy to think that you could win this. Oh, there we go. That flood will probably kill us. I mean, we're getting a lot closer than I was anticipating. Yeah, we're done. GG's, boys! You did, you did what you were expected to do. <laughs> I know it's grim, but this is what we expected. And there's another flood. That'll do it. This might be the quickest Taskmaster challenge I've ever had in terms of dying. Like that, that was pretty quick. That was, what, 11 minutes in game time? <laughs> Alright, well, that is our challenge for this week. I hope that I did the right thing. I think that I made the cheapest possible ship, and I think that we are going to be able to uh, have, you know, we obviously didn't take a torpedo, so that's two points that I'm banking, hopefully. I think that winning this challenge by killing the thing is going to be extremely difficult. If they pull it off, more power to them. They deserve the win. Uh, I just don't think that I could do it. So I decided to cheese it. So uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.